Gary, how is going to miss? Yeah, he's fine. He's um, I'm coming off the pitch. Actually, he was fine. So I'm um, talking and himself. He actually wanted to stay on the pitch. So um, no, it's it's something that we're well aware of and um, it's part of his history. But obviously, he's had all the checks and all that we knew that when coming to the club and. Um, all the medical checks, every check that you can possibly do, and, and it's just part of his life. Obviously, it's to do with low blood, blood pressure, and obviously, you know what. It just drops like that. Yeah. yeah, I didn't actually see the situation. Obviously, our physios went onto the pitch and then relayed the message, but he was fine. And he like come off the pitch, he was talking. He actually, wanted to stay on the pitch, but obviously, precautionary wise, we have to make sure that we double check everything. But obviously, we're well aware of the history anyway. And he's a bit wearing. Sorry, did he lose consciousness? Um, I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure of that. I have to clarify with the physios, but um, obviously, whether. He, he blacked out or it was anything like that but no his history he's had all the tests you know he's it's something he lives with his whole life so it's, it's no problems um whatsoever it's it, i think it looks worse than what it actually is you know obviously it looked terrible though. yeah it, it looks just, i didn't see it actually to be yeah. honest with you but, but just the whole sort of situation right. and obviously Everyone's with the history at, at this ground fear. as well yeah, and it, it's, thing, yeah. It's, yeah. it's a bit of yeah panic morning yeah. but with our medical team and obviously with baffy himself we're all well aware of him like i said he's had numerous and every single medical check that you can possibly have and he's fine it's just part of is his this, life is this he has the to live first with. incident that he's had uh, yeah yeah and obviously he's had training. obviously he's had it before in in his previous clubs and, and stuff like that so we're, we're fully aware of that but obviously oh, obvious this will sound obvious but there must still be relief when you discover that he's conscious and he's talking oh yeah off the pitch, no of yeah. course and yeah. no, it's, look, it's, there's always concern isn't there when anything like that happens but um the message straight away was that he's fine and you know that he was talking and, and obviously he just is one of those situations and we send him away now just to the hospital just precautionary just to double check everything and, and like I said Buffy's fine you you sure, you, uh, Gary? hopefully yeah, yeah yeah we just obviously clarify it now when we get out of here with the club doctor and everything like that and then and see what see what we do from there whether we pick him up or he gets his own car back Guys, there's some suggestion it happened in the dressing room earlier this season is that no, 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 no. Like I said, obviously it's happened at his previous clubs and everything like that. So obviously we're well aware of it. I think the players are all well aware of it as well. So you know, educating them as well in terms of that situation. But um, no, it's, it, like I said, it's it's just it looks worse than what it actually is, and I can understand the reasons the why. The crowd, the crowd, falls yeah, of silent, course. Given the history, here of course, well. yeah, yeah, and that's understandable, isn't it? Like, but like I said, Buffy was talking straight away yeah. on the stretcher. On the pitch itself, before we got on the stretcher, he actually wanted to play on. So um, obviously, you can't do that when that situation happens. You have to obviously bring the player off. What now for him? Are you going to do more tests, or is it just something that he lives with? Or no, it's, I think it's part of his life. I've had chats with Buffy personally about it, and, and everything like that. It's, it's it's part of his life, and obviously, you have to. There are precautions put in place and everything like that. But in terms of testing and everything, like, he's had it throughout his whole life, and we we're well aware of that when we signed him. We were more than aware of that. We've done all our own tests, every single precaution bit that we could do and, and and it's fully acceptable so obviously when it happens there are concerns of course we're concerned for, for Baffy and we want him to be fine but you know for Baffy himself he'll tell you himself he is he's more than comfortable with the situation and how to deal with it. Gary, what does he say it feels like does it? Does well we don't I'm not going to divulge that here am I it's a personal chat I've had with Baffy myself but um, how he feels I don't know because that's never happened to me so um, but Baffy is very, very aware of that situation and how he deals with it and whenever it happens. It doesn't happen that often, to be honest with you, so it's not as if it's happening every day or every week or anything. It just happens throughout his life at certain certain points and, and it is what it is with him, but he's more than comfortable with, with how he deals with it. He, he could he play the same next game. Against yeah, it's fine. Like I said. He, he, I mean, he could play next week if you had a Yeah, game no, problem, no problem whatsoever. Yeah. And obviously, we were, like I said, that's what we were well aware of anyway and obviously good chats with the doctors and everyone before any of this happened with his previous history with their doctors and with the doctors that helped check when we, when we signed Buffy so I guess not if problem. there's I mean there's a, there's a risk involved but life is about making mm. those sort of decisions I guess yeah. isn't it you, you don't <coughs> not do anything because of what might happen no know? and Buffy lives his life yeah. how he lives his life that's why he's a professional footballer he chose that path and had the medical side of it come back and and dictated that you know, it was a risk for him to do that, or it, you know, it was a high risk of that. And then I'm sure that Buffy wouldn't be playing football how he is. You know, he just unfortunately is part of his life, but it's something that he deals with fine. And like I said, it's not as if it happens regularly. It's, it's every, I can't even say how how often it's been. So, um, but no, Buffy's fine. He's he's, he's a. He's a man. He knows how to deal with things. He's very aware, and if anyone, anything, he knows himself better than anyone else. So he's had all the best medical advice, all the best checks in the world. So there's no problem.